and we're back with a I got my October Bark Box. I am so excited because it is the Halloween party. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. Okay, I have to admit that I already opened this. I had to open the treats that are in here. Anyway, if you're new here, hi, I am Mir. This is Nightmare Bliss. I do unboxings, makeup, skincare, candles, lifestyle stuff, pets, kind of a little bit of everything. Spooky, gothy, happy, living in the country, country goth. <laughs> Not country goth like country music, rural goth. I'm, I'm a rural, rural goth. I live out in the middle of nowhere on a mountain, but I used to be a makeup artist, esthetician, hairstylist, and, and uh, nail tech back a long time ago in the city with all the people. And I'm like, no, I was over that. No, <laughs> no, I wasn't real. Well, yeah, I was, but I ended up out here in the middle of nowhere up on a mountain. So now I do all this YouTube stuff and it's so much more fun. And my dogs are very happy out here. It's very quiet. Hear that water? That's their water fountain. I have some lo-fi girl records in the background. The dogs are snoring. Hold on, I have to move my tripod. Anyway, it's really quiet and I can just hear the bun snoring laying over there, it's so cute. I would have like Eliza or Dude or somebody open the bark box with me, but all the dogs are sleeping. So this is gonna be a little quickie, quickie, quickie unboxing of bark box. I just get the small dog one, the small toy one. So we got the Baba Biscuits lamb recipe. We get these all the time. Now, interestingly, my dogs never eat lamb and dog food. They usually have trouble with it, digestion, things like that, tummy issues. They don't have any problems with these, which is really, really weird. Go figure. Anyway, no problems with those. I'm gonna do the, the treats first. Let's do the treats. And then we got the pork stick recipes, same thing. My dogs never eat food with pork in them, but for some reason they can eat these and I have a problem. Ooh, these are new. I don't think we got these before. Magic morsels with oatmeal and mixed berries. These are crunchy biscuits, easy to tear and share, break off the right size bite for your bark. No meat, these are vegetarian. Made with feel good ingredients like oatmeal, honey, and mixed berries. Well, that's kind of cool. So if somebody's having a little bit of tummy troubles, this might be good too. So this is made with nourishing barley and oats, no added wheat, soy, or corn. Hannah approved, bark office dog. Her favorite treat, sidewalk pizza crust. <laughs> but we're a very close second. And I like that there's always a little window in the back and it shows what the treats look like. Oh, these do break apart really nice. I have a house of senior and toothless dogs, except for Miss Lydia. So like Trudy has one tooth or no teeth and dude's teeth are pretty good, but Luna Bun and Eliza's got teeth, she's okay. But I usually don't buy a lot of crunchy treats because if you have elderly dogs, sometimes they have trouble, but I will break them up and break them into small pieces and these seem to break really nicely. Okay, what should I open first? Oh my God, they're all so cute. Oh, so here's the other part of the oh, toys. Oh my God. We have Count Droolcula. Oh my good. Oh no, I'm going to make that noise. Lydia's going to come running. If you're new here and you haven't met Lydia, Lydia is my Shih Tzu Maltese mixed dog that was born with no eyes. She, yes, an eyeless dog. I do own an eyeless dog. I adopted her and when she was a puppy, she was very special needs. And I am a also a retired dog trainer and I'm a dog groomer, but I was a dog trainer first and then became a dog groomer as well. So training, grooming, the whole thing, the whole vibe with the dogs. I had deaf dogs that I've adopted before. I've trained deaf dogs with sign language. I know how to train blind and deaf dogs being a dog trainer for like 10 years, actually longer than that now, but I don't do it professionally anymore, but I do have all the knowledge and I keep up on things and I do a lot of rehab with rescue dogs right now. Like all of my dogs are rescues. I have a house of five rescue dogs. We've always had rescue dogs. I did a lot of uh, back in Michigan before I moved. I was a foster mom. I was a rescue rep for Italian Greyhound Rescue. I did home visits. I delivered dogs that were adopted to their new homes, which was the best part of my volunteer job with them. This one is so cute. And this is... <laughs> Read the tag. 
read the tag. <laughs> he's sheet faced. He's got a beer and he's sheet faced. <laughs> oh my god. This one is so cool. It's oh my god, it's so soft. I don't get makeup all over it. This is so soft. It's like this wooly kind of thing. Crazy crinkle, less fluff, and a squeaker. And I can't make noise with it because everybody will wake up. And lastly, oh my God, this one is the best. Blech. I actually have the puking pumpkin from last year. Wait, where is it? Oh, I think it's over there. I kind of want to go get it. I'm not going to go get it. This is called the Yakko Lantern. <laughs> I'm going to be the person who's just paid to like make up these names at BarkBox. Yakko Lantern. And it is also very squishy. It has a squeaker and crazy crinkles. Count Drucula is also a squeaker and crazy crinkle. So that is our spooky little Halloween. Ah, get out of the way. Bark packs. Oh my God, I just heard the mail guy. Gotta go. Mail's in. Come back for more. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you will see my dog soon. But if you want to ask me anything about my pet background, do it in the comments below. Please don't come and ask me training tips and all that stuff. I can give you some, but it just takes a lot of time. That's why I usually don't tell people that I did this stuff. It's like my friend Jamie telling people he's a doctor and then they go, hey, this has been aching. Hey, I get this pain right here when I do this. And he goes, well, don't do that. Here's my PayPal. Give me a tip, maybe I'll help. I don't mind answering questions here to a certain extent. But it's hard for me to put out all the things that I do. Like, you know, yes, I'm a dog groomer. I do that. I'm a private dog groomer. That's what I do right now. I have a, a salon here downstairs away from all my dogs. It has a separate entrance. I have, I have my own salon, but I'm a private groomer. I dog sit for my grooming clients. So I will have dogs here that stay with me that I dog sit. Um, I farm sit go to my friend Allison's and take care of her horses and her chickens and her cats and her dogs and everything. And I did hair and makeup and I don't mind giving tips and things like that. But one of the, and uh, the thing I never talk about is I'm also a certified yoga instructor in November and December and going forward, I'm going to add more and more on my Patreon because it's just really fun. And it's kind of like having my own website that's not really a website and I can post everything there that I don't post on Instagram I'll probably do more tutorial stuff there. I'll do, you know, pet tips. I'll do things that I want to do, but I don't want to do here. Like my best, my dog groomer tips for trimming your dog's nails. What if you have a dog that hates getting their nails trimmed? And these are tried and true things that I've been doing for a really long time. So just saying, you might want to check out my Patreon, but don't feel pressured. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. This is getting way too long. See you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.